Hello everyone. This is Suresh Ramani here. In this post pandemic world. With the increase in digital transformation, there has been a correspondingly large increase in the cyber threats. So. In this video today, we are going to talk about. Microsoft Defender for business. So. Let me share my screen and get going. Microsoft Defender for Business is an enterprise quality zero compromise threat detection solution for small and mid sized companies. It has got three main pillars, so let's have a quick overview of the same. First is the threat and vulnerability management. This helps you in increasing the overall security of your organization by giving recommendations on weaknesses and the actions required to be taken. Second pillar is a threat analytics, which has information from top Microsoft security researchers designed to keep you up to date about the emerging threats and what you should do about them. The third pillar is threats incidents management dashboard, which will show you the number of active incidents along with the actions required to remove the threats. Let us now go deeper into the first pillar. Threat and vulnerability management. Its role is to make your environment more secure and thus help in prevention of threats. Let's see how it does it. First is the exposure score. This is the score of all the connected devices based on the device security configuration. Low score means low exposure to threats and better security. Threat awareness. This gives the top threats floating around and checks if any of the devices enrolled is vulnerable to the same. Third is top security recommendations. Which gives the recommendations as per the priority. Example can be top patches for operating systems and apps that are needed. You click on the improve score and you can get a list of top actions required to be taken to improve the score. The actions can also tell what action will give maximum impact. So you focus on those actions to begin with. Also, when you hover the mouse pointer over the threads column, you get information on whether any of the threads are there which can take advantage of this gaps in your environment. What you see in this slide is the exposure score for an organization over time. The score of 51 means that this is there is a, it is the medium range. This slide gives you security recommendations along with the number of exposed devices and the relative weightage of the weaknesses so that you can decide which weaknesses to take care of first. Let's now move to threat analytics. Imagine you are a mid sized company with limited resources, but you have some world class security experts working for you part time whose role is to educate you on the top threats currently affecting the cyber world. They will also tell you. How these threats can gain entry into your technology environment. Finally, they will tell you what actions you can take in your environment to minimize the chances of these dangerous threats coming and attacking you. All this is extremely unlikely, right? Wrong. Threat analytics does exactly that. Threat analytics has information from top Microsoft security researchers designed to keep you up to date about the emerging threats. So even the smallest of companies get information direct from top Microsoft security experts. It will also give you information on threat exposure to your tenant. 
it will, for example, you can you can see the top threads, how it will work, what type of emails and attachments will come that will give the threads entry into your system. And it will also give you recommendations on how your, you can protect your setup from the dangerous threats. This slide shows you a typical threat analytics dashboard. It lists latest threats, high impact threats, and high exposure threats. You can drill down on any one of the items listed to get a more detailed information on the same. So threat and vulnerability management and threat analytics is all about prevention and how you can harden your security so that you are less likely to be attacked. Bad news is there is nothing like 100% secure. So attacks will happen. Good news is Defender for Business will protect you when the actual attack happens. Let's see how. For that, we need to check out Threat Incidents Management. The dashboard will show number of active incidents and also how many threats are active along with severity, type of threat, device name, action required, if any, to mitigate the threat. These could be quick scan required, full scan required, update antivirus engine, restart the device, etc. Incident will show you details. You can see the timeline of the incident. This will tell you how it all started and then spread. And it will also tell you how the attack was overcome automatically. This is called automated incidents response. You also get remediation type, which can be software update, configuration change, device isolation so that it can get disconnected from the network. And that means any and every network, including Internet. Only by using Microsoft Defender dashboard can you get it back into the network. So by thus isolating the affected device, you can prevent bad actors from stealing information from your company or copying data into external storage or even using your network or device to launch bigger attacks which can lead to massive legal liabilities for you if it is successful. You can also restrict application execution. This would mean that you only allow few authorized apps to run and block everything else. This means that the attacker will not be able to launch malicious code and thus cause no harm. Action center history is a place where you can get details of what happened when you were away. This includes tasks like quarantine files, stop processes, remove scripts. All these automated actions are taken without our intervention. You see the incidents management. It lists the threats, severity of the detected threats, number of impacted devices, and so on. This shows incident timeline, how it started, how it spread. The best part is that it shows you the timeline graphically, which gives you a much better visualization. So after understanding the Microsoft Defender for Business, let me summarize why this solution is far superior to the run-of-the-mill antivirus software used by many small and mid-sized companies. The typical antivirus protects the endpoints from known threats and is much less effective against zero-day attacks from threats which are typically less known or unknown. Microsoft Defender for Business looks at full environment and investigates the threats and responds automatically for the full environment. The threat analytics is an absolutely unique service from Microsoft. This is because there is no company out there which has made the type of investments in the security experts as Microsoft. The EDR, which is Endpoint Detection and Response Engine, is a standard feature of Defender for Business. 
and many other similar solutions, the EDR is an expensive add-on. Finally, it's only Microsoft which provides you with a single security and a compliance portal for complete end-to-end -end security solution from the smallest company to the largest company on planet Earth. And this covers identity and access, information protection, threat protection, and covers on-premise and multi-cloud environment. Less complexity means less admin time, means less cost of resources. Do more with less. Finally, let me tell you about the Secure IT Services 365 services for Microsoft Defender for Services. Like all our other services, this one is also divided into two parts. Part A is professional services, which are one-time deployment services. Part B is security managed services, which are ongoing services where our team will keep a regular watch on daily weekly and monthly basis to ensure that threats remain away from your technology environment. With so much going for Defender for Business, what is the cost? Well, the cost per user per month is less than the cost of one cup of coffee. Have a wonderful day ahead.